Yes, please. So the coffee up here is grown locally and we have to get a cup. We just got done with the flight of the Gibbon. It was a ton of fun, guys. I actually shot an entire vlog just on this experience. So make sure you check that one out. So now we are in the jungle, hanging out. We're gonna get back to Chiang Mai and go explore. I don't know what's in plan for today. We have a motorbike and we have all afternoon to do whatever with no plans. After the flight of the Gibbon, they, uh, they told us that we get to go check out a waterfall on, on the way back. They drove us through the jungle and here we are at a waterfall. Are you gonna jump in? Are you gonna drone it? Um, if there's enough yeah. space to drone. Kind of nice that after you're done ziplining, they bring you to see one of the waterfalls. Rickety bridge. Oh. Let's go explore the jungle. And there's another waterfall up here. There's a walking path, the stairs. Do not cross guardrail. I'm gonna listen to that one. These are some stairs. So now we have a hour drive back to Chiang Mai through the windy hills. Time to go explore Chiang Mai now that we're here for a full day. Flight of the Gibbon. Look at that, we're clean. Yes. Got my pants on. Now we're gonna go find coffee at a coffee shop. I'm not sure we're going to. Which one? The one we saw yesterday. Oh. Once again. So the hotel we're staying at, which is the Beery Siri, the Beery Siri, Beery Siri, which is the Beery Siri is not in the old city. It's like 10 minutes outside of it. It's actually really nice because you, you know, you're walking around here. It's not crazy busy hustle and bustle and you go like two streets over and you're in it. So it's a nice little area to like get away and quieter setting around you in the city. Uh, there's also some cool local spots around here. So we're walking to this coffee shop that's pretty rad. Secret coffee. I like secret coffee. Oh, there's stairs? I guess not. Okay. Which one? You know, it's the same guy you have. There's that one. Do you see this one? We've been the only ones here. We've been working here. We had free Wi-Fi. We had pot thai, Thai fries, mmm, chili fries were so good. Pot so thai made out of papaya. So While I was sitting here having papaya pot thai, I went on Pinterest and I found the recipe and you're gonna make it for me. So this is called Cube. Cube number seven. Cube number seven. So cool. That's our secret exactly. coffee spot. Shh, don't tell anyone about it. Now we're gonna get on the motorbike. Are you ready? Back on our scooter. Rachel's getting directions to uh, somewhere that we want to go. We are off, we're gonna go explore. It's getting towards sunset again, but today we're a little bit more rested and I think we're gonna be able to stay out a little longer than last night and go explore Chiang Mai at night. So we've been in Thailand for about a week and a half, two weeks, how long have we been there? I still have not got my mango sticky rice. That's been something I've wanted this whole time. I don't know why we haven't got it, just haven't. So we're doing it. We just got to the mall. And so, so we thought, why not? Let's get some mango stick here. Thank you so much. How is it? Yeah? It's all good. <laughs> so that was uh, delicious. I mean, yes. Thailand's all about eating, I guess. We like the food here. Wow, this is a great view. So we just got some beers at the mall and we're going back to our bike, but I haven't showed you guys this because when we came in, it was a little overwhelming. Look at this bike parking.
We're doing a little exploring at night. You know, we haven't really had a chance to see the temples yet. Day three motorbike exploring. So this is one of the first temples. I'm gonna go check it out. Rachel doesn't have a cover for her shoulders, so she's gonna sit out here and hang out. You can hold this. You need to always take off your shoes. So something about Thai culture that you might not have known, feet are a very dirty thing in Thai culture. So you always remove your shoes before going in to places. You don't point your feet at somebody and you don't put your feet on things. If you're pointing your foot or putting your feet on things, it's a sign of disrespect. Something you should know before coming to Thailand, for sure. How's your view outside the temple? It's really cool. <laughs> Probably cool to see at night because of the lights. Yeah, it's really cool. Look at these dragons. All right, we're back at the night market. We, uh, back for more. Back for more. Rachel needs elephant pants. And uh, we have a few other things on our mind. So let's go exploring. I feel like we were just here last night. We were, at this exact spot. Let's go the other side. We didn't go the other side. Great find. Rach, can I see your headband? Show me. Look at that, she got a headband. And she tried to haggle it down too far. She didn't get down as far as, ooh, look at these underwear. We gotta figure out what this craze is all about with this durian. Can't have any room. So, everyone's charging for it, so we're gonna buy a little thing of it. You like it? I like it. Oh, it's it's yeah, we'll try a, a 20. Yeah. So strong. Yeah. So you just you just eat the whole thing? You just eat the whole thing? Yep. You need a spoon? Thoughts? You don't like it? <laughs> You're gonna eat it? Wow, that's really odd. Interesting. That's disgusting. That's gross. <laughs> that is, she, uh, she spoke such good English. That was she, very helpful. She uh, she explains. It smells. Can you get rid of it? Oh my god. It's like slimy, and it kind of has yeah, like a right weird right. squish in your mouth when you chew it. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good. After that. All right, so no no darn for me. So Rachel not only picked up a stylish headband, but she got this satchel. What's up, Thai satchel? What's a pattern on pattern? Pattern on pattern on pattern. Match it, all. it work. It works. But uh, it all works. she got this bag. You know now. I'm holding my fruit. I'm practicing the farmers market back up. Yeah, it's perfect. Now she has the perfect farmers market satchel. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Oh wow. <laughs> Did you want to get one too? We're about to go to a <laughs> Chiang Mai cabaret show. Bring your ice cream into the cabaret show. Ice cream cabaret. It's gonna be a good night. It's lady boys. It's lady boys. You missed that part. <laughs> One more time, please. Hi, everybody! Welcome, 
Chiang Mai Cabernet, definitely a musty, hilarious, funny night. Wow, that was interesting <laughs> to say the We're least. In Thailand, you gotta see the lady boys. That was funny. Oh, that was great. They that got was... these six guys up on stage and then they pulled them out and they put them in dresses and thongs. Told you where they were they from. They put them in thongs. Uh, it was really, it was really good. good. No, definitely good. a. All right, if you're in Chiang Mai, it's good. 9:30 go, at night, every night. Every night, in the middle of the night bazaar, pretty good. You want some duck? Right by the ducks. Do you see where our bike is? It's a good thing There's our Betsy. bike is oh, no. orange. It's Gibbon. It's Gibbon. This is Gibbon. So Say hello. To, I know it's so easy to spot because it's orange, just like the monks here. We need buffs. I know we need buffs. It smells so bad on this bike. So the one thing about riding a motorbike and all this traffic is the pollution starts getting to you. So we got masks.